Now for the capital budgeting part of finance, we look at whether we want to invest in long-term assets. We have the cost and we've estimated how many cash flows this asset will generate. Old school method, we just discount all of these back, take all the interest out, compare it to cost, and if it's positive, we add value to the firm. That's called NPV, net present value. When you do net present value, you need to figure out the required rate of return, which includes the risk of the project. And PER, well, we have five future cash flows, so one to five, comma, comma, future value, all positive. Close parentheses. And if I highlight this in the screen tip, I can see the present value of those future cash flows. And if I add all those cash flows up and the cost is less, I add value to the firm. So we'll do SUM at the end, close parentheses, control, enter. Minus 287,000, that's the max I'm willing to pay. But wait a second, it's almost as if it's on sale because the cost is less. If we buy this asset according to our calculations, we'll add value. Net present value means if we compare the discounted cash flows to the cost and we get a positive, then we're going to add value. If it's negative, we're not going to buy it because it will take away value. So we'll compare, hey, there's the cost as a negative, and we'll subtract the negative cash flows. And when I control Enter, there's the value added. Well, guess what? Microsoft gave us a net present value function. And it works a little bit different than PV and FV and all the functions we've studied. Well, there's the RRR. There's the discount rate comma. We just put in all of the cash flows, but not times 0. And when it discounts this, it's going to give it to us as a positive. That's the max we'll pay. So what do we do? F2. With net present value, you always have to subtract the cost. And guess what? Control Enter. That formula is a lot easier to figure out net present value. Does this asset add value than a formula like that?